an apparent building boom is happening in St. Augustine, not just with houses, but also with hotels. Five hotels are going up within miles of each other in or near the already dense downtown area. Jessica Clark is on your side reporting if the market can handle it, and she takes us inside one of the hotels that stands out from the rest. This is the Renaissance Hotel under construction to resemble the San Marco Hotel. It was a huge hotel back in the 1890s. The San Marco Hotel sat pretty much on this property, which is now just across from the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. It's one hotel, but it looks like seven different buildings. 15 years from planned reality and while under construction, COVID hit. The Renaissance is one of five hotels in or near downtown St. Augustine going up right now. Seen here with red building locators. Add to that two more being built in Volano Beach. Seven new hotels within a few miles of each other. Most of the hotels you see it being built right now, those have been in the making for two and three years. But is there a demand for all these new hotel rooms? We're going to have to wait and see because these projects at the time when they were being developed and the money was set in place and everything, uh, St. Augustine was in a very growing stage. Jalaram Hotels is building this and another hotel in St. Augustine now, but has actually put a third hotel on hold to see what the market does. We probably lost about 24% last year in the hotel industry here, um, just in this area, and we weren't hit as bad as a lot of other areas. For hotel companies that already got the financial okay to build before the coronavirus struck, it did not make sense for them to stop the projects during the pandemic. It's hard to stop the project, yes. You want to just keep going, finish the deadline, open the hotel, and just start paying the bills. This hotel director of operations says the demand for hotel rooms in St. Augustine will bounce back, but... At least not for next two or three years. Meanwhile, a hotel that aims to resemble one of the old city's first grand hotels continues to take shape. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.